Hey guys, it's me, i one Today we are talking about a very important topic that is actually very close to my heart. A homeless boomer who keeps sitting at a tea house and does absolutely nothing. It's not like that is me and I'm projecting myself here, don't, don't, don't assume things like that. But Zhang Li is currently running in the 4.0 banner and he actually has quite a few benefits that are worth talking about. And I will answer the question, is he worth it? But if you want to find that out, you will have to watch this video till the end. So let's get right into it and let's start off with all the positive things about Zhong Li. And to start off, first we have the almost invincible shield. Do you ever struggle with a boss? Do you feel like you need a healer? Do you just want to be able to stand in front of the boss and normal attack to win? If you do, his shield is exactly for you. Not only does it have an insane strength, no, it also removes any knockback. Is it, it still doesn't heal you or protects against attacks that go through shields anyway, but at least you will not be able to be knocked off your feet anymore. Meaning, if you want to left click to win, you can left click to win. On to the second reason to get Zhong Li, and did you think his shield only shielded you? No, you're mistaken. His shield does more than that. He has a passive resistance reduction to his shield, meaning not only does it prevent you from taking damage, it also increases the damage you deal. Which is quite a big thing, normally found with animal characters, but here you get it for free and you can even stack it, as long as you get Zhongli and not Chi Chi. So basically it is free and an added bonus on top of what you're already getting. It's like a whole package, you know. And the third reason is kind of maybe surprising, but everyone keeps shipping him with either Tartaglia or Venti, but the reality is he is an adult man and he has some really strong apps that will protect your cute. Not only from danger, but maybe you marry him? Don't, don't, don't question this point. The last reason why you should get Zhongli is actually a very simple one. While Zhongli might not be the most amazing damage builder, he is actually very cheap to build and if you want to go for pure shield, you can. And his weapon is also very easy to get, as it is the Black Tassel, which you can get by just literally talking to an NPC or doing any pulls at all, as it is a free star weapon and it is straight up all you need, alongside his artifacts, which are just HP based and not too difficult to get. And you can also level him up relatively easily, as Liwa is straight up the second region you go to, making him a very accessible 5 star compared to a lot of other 5 stars where you have to cross the entire game or do quest lines, or we're not gonna get into this, but he is very accessible to say the least. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk about the real meat here, which is the negatives of Zhongli. And to get started, he is the Archon of basically the worst element in the game. It's straight up a rock, as it basically refuses to react with anything. It actually has one reaction, I just don't think anyone takes it serious. So it's not the strongest element to say the least. And the second reason is that his constant shielding might be making the game incredibly easy for you, but it is quite a substantial issue if you are losing basic understanding of gameplay mechanics, because while we might be not close to Snash Naya, if your IQ reaches the same temperature as the room temperature, we're gonna have an issue. But that is basically the gist of the negatives about him. He is not really doing a lot of damage. You can turn him into a damage dealer, but should you get him? If you're on Team Geo, you are most likely memeing it anyway. So I guess what I tell you will not really stop you from doing it anyway, and he's not a bad character, but as a general note, Fontaine seems to be turning out good, to say the least, and there are a lot of interesting characters on the horizon that might that you might not want to skip on, so if you need Zhongli or just want Zhongli because he's a strong support, yes, go ahead by all means, he is a good character. But if you want those other characters or you might be like free to play entirely, maybe not get him, just make sure that you're sure that you actually want to get him. After all, Noel can also be a good shield generator, so it's kinda up to you. Anyway, it is your choice. He is not a bad choice, but the characters we saw so far simply look amazing, and if Lene is an indicator, they shouldn't turn out bad at all. And that is why I'm skipping him. Alright, so you got Zhongli, what now? Well, to get started with it, Zhongli is easy to build. All his level up materials are in Liwa, and his talent level up boss materials are the ones dropped by Child who is a relatively easy boss, especially with a big shield like you have it now. So to level him to 90, all you have to do is bully child, break rocks and kill a Geo Cube. It really isn't that difficult and all of it is possible once you finish the Liwa Archon quest. 
For his artifacts, his best in slot is Tenacity of Middle-earth if you want to go for shield support, which is a domain just above Mondstadt. However, you can technically run any artifact set as long as you want to run him as a shield support. The only thing you want to do is make sure you get as much HP% percent and HP as you can. Focus after it maybe as a substat on energy recharge. Maybe, because his energy recharge kinda sucks. Weapon-wise, just grab Black Tassel and you're good to go. The higher the HP, the more the shield can tank. You generate a shield by holding his E skill. This is important. Hold it. His shield, while up, also generates a resist threat, which reduces the resistance of all enemies close by to you that you're fighting. But that is basically it. He is easy to build and easy to play. Now go take your Jun Lee and put him in your team of your choice. Have fun and feel invincible. Let's see how far you can get with him. But if you did watch the video this far, a big thank you to you and I hope you enjoyed the video. And also a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters who allow me to make those kind of videos. And I hope to see you next time and if you want to, go ahead and check out one of the other videos, of which one is suggested right here. And see you next time.